Hello everyone and welcome back to Off The Shelf Review's playthrough of Dishonored. I'm Gary. And I'm Cool Corvo. And Ian, you are at the controls still, doing this entire playthrough. Yep. We... And I need another previously, Ian. Where are we? We're in some alleyway? Uh, previously we took out Dowd and escaped from the assassins. And now we're heading back to the Hound Pits pub. Ah, uh, right. That's To yeah. find out what happened to Emily and the rest of the loyalists. The rest of the loyalists that uh, duly deserved some royal payback. Yes. Yeah, I think we'll be killing a lot of people towards the end of this game. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. That's why we chose some of those other nastier abilities early on, because I knew we were going to need them at some point. Yeah, I, I mean, I like going stealth, but I kind of feel like I've been betrayed too many times. Being betrayed? Speaking yeah. of being betrayed, Ian, I recently got betrayed. Betrayed? Watching a film. Oh. Now, this is a film I've been excited about for years and years because I knew that they were remaking Poltergeist right from the get-go and yeah. th they they had attempted to remake it a, a couple of instances and it just never came to fruition until uh, Ghost House Pictures said, no, it's going ahead. Uh, we've got it cast, we've got the director and we're going to scare the living Jesus out of you yeah. just like the original Toe Pooper Steven Spielberg film did. Oh, and it scared me, Ian. It scared me into the state of decay of, of movies, of, of the remakes and reboots that are just absolutely soulless. Yeah. And I, I was, for the first time, I, it really is the first time when I saw Sam Raimi and Rob Tappert's name come up at the end of that film as part of their production, I, I, I kind of died a little bit inside. Yeah, we took... We're talking bad. I, mean, I, I, I am talking new levels of bad with this new Poltergeist. I think we are going to have to do a comparison video. Considering we lost our Poltergeist trilogy review, we're just going to... But the thing is, it's owned by Universal. Yeah, I see. And so it just makes me go, you know what? Just fuck it. I don't even want to talk about... I don't even want to approach Poltergeist right now. I it's saw, sensitive. I saw the trailer for Poltergeist, and when they revealed the big twist in the trailer, I was like, I'm done. Yeah. I, I don't even... I, Irish priest, you know? Yeah. The, no, he, he's like a TV celebrity in the new Poltergeist. Right. And you know the original Poltergeist film is just so much about the family, the family unit, and how... Nice. <laughs> and how you actually cared for them. Yeah. Well, in, in this new film, I didn't really care for the family. I mean, in the original, you got to spend time with them before the paranormal activity really kicked in. Yeah. It starts within seven minutes oh. in the new film. You don't even get to... I mean, the thing is, they changed all the names as well. It wasn't even Carol Ann. It was Maddie, I think, or Madison. I, um, I th but, yeah, I was going back to the priest. He was like a TV celebrity, and when he turns up in the house, the, some of the characters are like, oh, I'll do your famous line. I've got my camera. Do this line for me. Oh. And I'm like, your your sister has been abducted by a freaking ghost, and you, you're you more interested in your, you know, your Facebook popularity. Yeah. yeah that's I, it was I, just soulless. I felt from the, the trailer, the fact that, you know, the girl's on her phone, and it's like, oh, we're coming through the phone. Was, okay, I know the TV was like a big twist in the first one, but it, it, the TV just had something Oh, it, it's definitely got, it, it. it's got the TV, and I will say that there are one, one redeeming feature about the new Poltergeist was some of the effects well, of course the effects would be a lot better than the original yeah but the, the issue i've got is it is literally a remake of the original and so the only person who's really going to get scared and terrified of the new pole guys is people that never saw the original never saw the original yeah you need to watch the original just because it's, it's a classic. Nowadays, you can shove all this, you know, extra special effects and whatnot. I mean, Sam Rockwell, yeah, okay. Okay, he, he the was father. the other redeemable part of the yeah, film. But he's the only, in the yeah, original, him and the, the mum and dad. Yeah, I cared for the whole family in the original. Right. So I'm sorry to, to, to just bombard you with Poltergeist news when we're playing Dishonored. What, what happened to that guy? Uh, basically, uh, they, uh, him and Slackjaw were heading through the sewers to get away from something yeah and then they were attacked by, by a large horde of rats okay uh slack jaw got taken away and is it up there yeah slack jaw got taken away and i have to go and get the key off him so i can get past that door okay so and so to the sewer key. oh 
What's that? That's one of those That's crazy those plans. Crazy plans, guys. Right, I have to get my gun out. Uh, well, continuing the theme of things being bad or pretty shitty. Yeah. I finished season two of Agents of Shield. You need some health. Yep. And meh. 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 I after after the last recording we did, the very next episode that I watched had a pretty big uh, co-star or guest appearance. Okay. It was Edward James Olmos. Ah. He's kind of iconic. The gruff voice. Admiral the, Adama. The Admiral Adama, of course, absolutely. And you know, seeing him in science fiction or science fantasy, whatever, it's just like, yeah, it's great. He's a great actor. Oh. I was just like, but I've seen what happens to guest stars in this show. I already seen Lucy Lawless turn up for twenty minutes. And then she was subsequently out of the show. Okay. Bill Paxton turns up. Yeah, how long did he stick around for? Not very long. Oh. So, yeah, I kind of expected expected only a few a few episodes from him, if that. Uh, but the grand finale, yeah, it's acceptable, I guess, for TV. Yeah. It's just, you know, I can see them playing around with the cast a little bit more. But there's one thing that really annoys me about that show is that there's so many characters that say, the next time I see you, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> or they, they tell other characters, when I see that character, I'm going to kill them. And then, then when they meet, when they encounter those characters again, they basically just stand around and talk it out. And then, and then something happens, and then one, the bad guy gets away. Oh. And, it, and, it, and it escalates, and it escalates. Oh. Uh, so it, it's, it feels very dragged out. And I'll say what I said last week, that... The show would probably benefit from being 12 episodes instead of 23 or 24. Wow, these plants are giving you more trouble than plant. anything else I've seen We've thrown at you in this game. Oh, come on. I just wasted all the pistol rounds as well. There's always, there's always one enemy in the game that gives you trouble. Yeah. Uh, what was that? What was that you used? That was the crossbow. crossbow. I thought the incendiary would have killed it in like one hit. You'd think so. Set the plant on fire. Uh, oh, down there. This is probably the first under real underwater section I've seen you. Yeah, it's and the, uh, I guess so, so that's the oxygen over there in the bottom right. Yeah. Uh, uh, nice, is that just an air pocket? Uh, just an air yeah. pocket. Uh, what was oh, that up there? Oh. Nice. Uh, I don't know how you managed to reach up there to grab them, but... Okay. I think it was this way. Now, I'm just just thinking over the blink jump ability that you have. Yeah. How does it actually work? Do you do you physically move from one point to the other, or is it like a form of teleportation? Yeah. Um... And do you need the physical momentum of the jump in order to carry you where you want to blink jump to? No, you just... It, it's kind of like a... It's like a target. Yeah, I was just thinking, because when you're in the water, then, you had the grate above you. Yeah. What was stopping you from blink jumping above the grate? Well, I suppose when you blink, your body still has... So it still has to physically move, move through. through. Okay. Uh, yeah, take those bullets. Well, uh, speaking of physically moving on, uh, another tragic death uh, in uh, the film world this last week. Yeah. yeah. Very, very great. Sad news. Uh, James Horner... Dies in a plane crash. Legendary kind of musician. accidental death, an unknown death, possible, possible heart attack maybe while he was flying. I, you know, no one knows. It's a bit of a, a mystery surrounding it actually, because they still haven't actually found the body. Really? That's right. Apparently he was flying with somebody else, and they found that body. But the body of James Horner has not actually been identified weird uh, i don't know if that's changed since since w this recording but as of right now that is the current state which is yeah it's very weird yeah i thought i, I thought on the radio it was you know it was kaput he, he yeah was, but gone. apparently it, there's still some sort of there's still some mystery to it yeah. um but yeah james Wonder, uh, most iconic soundtracks or well, some of in, in cinema he recorded God knows how many film soundtracks yeah, I'm gonna from Five Will Goes West to Titanic all the way to uh, the aliens. big hitter. Yeah. You said it. Aliens. Uh, I mean, so much so that his music was used in trailers for films for like the next 10 years. Yeah. That's how powerful a, a theme he wrote. But it wasn't just the bombastic military score that he wrote as well. It was the very subtle sort of 
gentle, just a great musician. haunting yeah. bits that he would write. That you know, especially with Aliens, that piece of music just says space. Yeah, uh, it really does. Uh, so it's a, a, a big loss. Okay, here we have Granny Rags. Yeah, still and, and, she's not a loyalist. Oh, there's Slackjaw. And Slackjaw. No, Slackjaw was a good dude, but. Well, I've just agreed with Granny Rags to uh, kill him and stick him in that stew. Really? Yeah. Um, That's a pretty bad end for Ron Perlman. Yeah, it, pretty, it is. <laughs> but after that, I'm going to even it out by kicking her ass. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sorry, Slackdoor. Unlock his chains, Josh. Unlock, uh, where's Here's the key? The key. Thanks, Granny. Go ahead and unlock his chains now. Yes, I will, Granny. I'm going to cut your goddamn head off. <laughs> so, what what is she trying to get out of all of this? She's just right insane and kind of and like kind part of, of the ballistic. magic. Yeah. Right. And feeding on his soul would be a good thing. <laughs> Cloves and all. Obviously, there are playthroughs where you help Slackjaw. Yeah. You know, and you help Granny Rags, or you can do what and I'm going to do and just kill them both. Um, oh, you... Where's, where's my prize? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Let yes. <laughs> where's my prize, bitch? I'll Let him stew a while now. Stew. Yeah, maybe, you know, two hours, I reckon. Go should ahead, be about right. Take your Skin should just go. come straight off. <laughs> so now she's just left us uh, a room for us to pick up and some bullets. Okay. But that's that's not really I could have left slack slack door in there. Well, it's a rune. I mean, you need all, yeah. all the power up you can. Uh, but if you come in here, this is her bedroom. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're just going to pillage everything. I'm just going to pillage everything, but I'm going to make sure Sleep I darts, pick yeah. up Granny Rag's cameo. Oh, that was quite well hidden there. Hmm. Now, what did you need that for? Well, organic rubbish furnace. <laughs> I'm going to have a rib look cage at... in there. Yeah, that's where she cooks, the, where she, uh, cooks her lunch. <laughs> lunch and an oven that size. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not an oven. That's an incinerator. Right, there's the drain. Let's steal that. So yeah, because she's uh, obviously a magical witch, yeah. I suppose. Um, I think the outsider place. explains now how you could destroy her. Yes. Yeah. By destroying her cameo. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting back to the pub. How does it? He looks so evil there. He no does. That, all that lighting. Strange I never really understood where I was with him. I mean, he's given me the magical powers. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if I'm evil or good. He's still... He's still kind of telling me that that was his plan the whole time. <laughs> right. Or was it the primal desire? I, I don't like that. I don't, you know, I really don't like this character. I don't like the outsider either. I mean, I, I like the, the powers he gives me. Yeah. But he just seems like a... Ass. Yeah, I don't like his game plan because he's just not really revealed it. Uh, oh, oh stuff to take. Yeah, take that. Take that. Lots of coins. Take. Can't do, I don't need any bolts. Bullets. And more bullets. What was that? Things about ferrers. Uh, more coins. Uh, lockers. No. So no, now that most of our vendors of the game we've kind of killed or. Yeah. Uh, what are you putting in here? Is that the... The cameo. Nice. Uh, who, who is there left to purchase things from? Um, Pietro. He's the Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. Oh, there you are. Oh! Uh, she didn't like that. No. Oh, she definitely didn't like that. What the hell was that noise? That's, her, that's her soul. That's her if, soul. If man. I hadn't picked that up... Yeah. And tried to attack her. Yeah. She's immortal and can turn into rats and right. would probably swarm me. Damn. So when you come to fight her as a boss, if you're on the yeah. path to save Slackjaw, yeah. you probably leave him there, run all the way up here. And do that. What you just Hopefully know where her cameo was. Yeah. Chuck it in the fire and burn the bitch. Right. If you don't know that kind of stuff, you'll run you all the way up here. <laughs> yeah, we'll just fight her for ages because she just keeps turn turning into a... Uh, Keeps turn, just turning into rats and attacking yeah. you. Can you pick up a body and chuck it in the furnace as well? Uh, try it. Uh, I want. You, you should. It'd be a fitting end. Or you could just chuck her in the bathtub. But could just chuck. Ah, uh, missed. Yeah, try on, again. <laughs> Fling this granny yeah. around. Ah. Uh, one more. 
granny throwing simulator. Ah. No, I think there's an invisible war. Okay, let's. An invisible war. Let's, yeah. Let's chuck you in the bath. Yeah, in the bathtub. Ooh. <laughs> All that pentagram stuff. This is like a character out of the Evil Within. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was. I was in that mood to just even yeah, it out. Yeah. I mean. Hey. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I wonder how many you could put in that bathtub oh, before it even everybody. starts to fill. I could probably put the whole, you think whole it's population like a bottomless, of Dumbledore. Bottomless tub. Yep. <laughs> uh, in here. It's a shame you couldn't put her in the furnace, but still okay. Into the drain. Oh. Corvo, you do some of the dis most disgusting things. Only Corvo could. Who's he think he is? Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So there's the sewer gate, and are we close to the, the pub now? We just need to make our way through the last bit of the sewers, and we come out to the pub on the other side. Nice. I think this is a neutral area, actually. Yeah, I can see enemies down there, but they don't—they're not highlighted with. No, that's it. With the evil intent. Oh, they're plants. Definitely plants. Uh, well, really they, none there. of them seem even particularly Rune? phased about these plants. Runes. There. Just down there, where that <laughs> horrible plant was, probably. Oh. No, all safe. All safe. Easy. No one mind the assassin, just wandering yeah. around. Sorry, guys. Um, Carry on back to doing sewer dwelling hey, stuff. Hey, if any of you are hungry, there is a stew stewing, <laughs> like, 15 meters down that way. Don't leave it in there too long, though. It might be a bit wrinkly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could just kill all these people. I could, I could kill you. Seriously. He's I'm a survivor. Kind of he is a survivor. He's a survivor. So, yeah. You know. But then again, he does seem slightly deranged. He's kind of <laughs> pacing on the spot. He'd probably be doing them a great great service. Uh, which way? You know what I saw last night? The arrow is pointing that way. That, that way. All these sewers look the same to me. Yeah. They're not sewers, they're steam rooms and. Oh, that pipe steam rooms. room again, Ian. That steam room again. <laughs> Plant. Nice. Oh. I can't believe these plants, like, make a sound. Like, they're like, feeling pain. Like triffids. They are. Come on. It's not dead yet? No, th those two aren't. Ah. Oh, oh, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Plants, fish, rats. Ah. Sneaky. What was that? That was those coming alive now. Ah. Ah. You're sleep. still alive. Can we just leave? Are they just gonna soak up, soak up damage? We... I think we just gotta jump over. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so weird seeing you just do normal jumps. Everyone's going to have a jetpack nowadays. Yep. Double jump. Anything valuable down here before oh, before just, exiting? Just going to check. What's that? Outsider has eyes. Blood from the eyes. Cool. Sounds like a horror movie from the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Mm, we're actually going uh, to eat that rotten pear on that one. Bolts. Gross. Bolts. That's it. That's it. That's it. No gold. That, that's your special loot. No gold. Gold. Oh, what's that Ooh. down there? A <laughs> coin worth five. Or two coins. Take everything. Take, take everything. everything. Huh. Nothing else. And we're out of the sewers. Finally out of the sewers. I think this should bring us over to the Hampton pub. Nice. Shortcut. I knew I'd make it. And have a look at your mission stats there. Overall chaos, current total, very low. That's very nice. Killed 30 people, though. <laughs> <laughs> and one chaos civilian. Is low. That's overall. Yeah. <laughs> Killed a civilian, I don't remember that. Well, one of either Slackjaw or Granny Rags. One Slack, of those Slack, civilians. Slackjaw would have probably counted as a civilian. Yeah. Sorry, Ron Perlman. We, well, we killed Susan Trandon as well. Yeah, but bitch had it coming. <laughs> bitch had it coming. <laughs> and Michael Madsen. Yeah. Yep. Michael Madsen's usually always the bad guy, though. It's just that voice. Yep. Yeah. I think I've, I remember one film where he's a good guy. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't really want to say it. Free Willy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a classic. Yeah, it, it, it was. Bitch, I'm going to kill you. I know you're good, but I really, really want to stab Speaking you. Speaking of classics, I actually saw the trailer Please, this week no. for an old film, a classic. Yeah. It's been remade. Oh. It's the prequel well, to told? Moby Dick. Oh, what? Yeah. It's the prequel. <laughs> yeah. It's how Captain Sean, Ahab loses his ship and his, and his leg. Let me guess, to a white whale. To a white whale, whale, yeah. Whale, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do I see that coming? But, it's, it's, it's a directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> Sliding camera, super special effects, you know. The whale transforms halfway through the film. <laughs> uh, no, no. But it, Is it Johnny Depp? No, I can't remember who it is. It's it's not the actor who plays Thor. I think it's like one of his brothers. Was it the guy from Cabin in the Woods? Uh, oh, uh, no, not Sam Worthington. That's Avatar. That's Avatar. That's the Terminator guy. Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember his name right now, but I think it's him. Thor. Yeah, I remember yeah, Thor. It, I think it's one of the one of those brothers. It's like four of them. Oh, it's gonna bug me now. Yeah, <laughs> Worthington. No, that was the, no, no, that's the other. Still the same Terminator guy. Yeah. I can't Cecilia, remember. Cecilia, who was that guy <laughs> in <laughs> Thor? You know, his brother. He was in Cabin in the Woods. You know, you seen. Yeah, okay, right. So all the people are over there. They want to kill me. They're trying to kill Emily. Yeah. But uh, I will Some say that, yeah, as, as as pretty bad as it might be, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it because the, some of the cinema photography of the storm, stormy weather at sea, the old rickety boats, and that pissed off whale, <laughs> yeah. it it looked, fa looked pretty breathtaking. Oh. Uh, so there's definitely, definitely got... I'm definitely curious about it. Now, see, the best movie ever, uh, best whale movie ever is Orca it, Killer Whale. Orca Killer Whale. Yeah. Now, Gregory Peck's performance, even though he didn't like it, Man, when, as Ahab uh, in Moby Dick. That, that killer whale kicked ass. Uh, oh, and also, speaking of big fish, uh, Megalodon yes, has, I'd has, heard that. Has about, is about to go into production now. Uh, which, yeah, I've, I, I, I've seen the clips from the, the crappy sci-fi movies of giant sh flying sharks and things sharknadoes uh, sharknadoes yeah but I, i'm excited to see megalodon i want to see big fish eating boats and eating people by swarms apparently even oh crap apparently oh, crap. even eli or eli oh, roth is uh in the market to make a giant megalodon fish film so as usual there might be two hours at exactly the same time i'm gonna have to kill everybody now you got spotted yeah yeah well there was a tall boy right out there well you knew there was you yeah, I should. You were trying to remember that actor's name. Yeah, I was. I gotta get back right now. Okay. Are you screaming for help? Who in the world is screaming for help? There's the guards. Wow. There are a lot. Oh, Ian, can, I can. hate to say it, there are a lot of guards down there. There are a lot of guards down there. Are they stuck on an invisible wall? No. The, uh, was they the spring razor they can, trap. They can't get up here. Alright, so there's an invisible barrier, or there's just no, the, there's steps, the, are the broken. steps are broken? They can't climb. Yeah. <laughs> But they are. It's that tall boy. Yeah. What's the best way of taking them out? Explosives, electricity. I just shot one in the back of the head. What do you want from me? <laughs> was that with the walker? Was it? I uh, know, not the walker. No. The that's walker, you've got to shoot the, the oil oil canisters. Right. Guys, I'm, I'm, I, I was gonna sneak in and kill you all, but now you're just gonna make me kill you all. Yeah, that, it's gonna be the hard way, or pretty much the easy way, considering they can't get up here. How can much? you chuck one of those razor mines down there? Where they are? No, uh, I can put one on the floor. You, oh, you can only physically put it I on gotta the floor. i got to put it on, yeah, oh, physically. Okay. Can't grenade throw it. What's this, possession? Uh, yeah. Nice. And how's this guy going to meet his maker? Uh, Knife to the back. Uh, okay, now we put the spring razor down. There. And we should do that. Uh, we got the... Of course, we've got the tall boy coming down the road yep. as well. Shot. I got the Oh, yep. Uh, right. Uh, blink time. Yep, we got hit again. Uh. Oh, the guards. Ooh, whoa. Slicey, slicey. Uh -huh. It's time, sleepy time. Oh, you take another hit then. Yep. Uh, take that and add that. Oh, and you took another hit. Yeah. I need to get the high ground so I can. There we go. 
Okay. Hate those tall boys. Yeah, they Hate really them. are quite. I mean, can you use bullets? Can you just shoot them? You need like a, a Tommy gun or something, oh, or an RPG. There's a lot. Where's of the heavy? Where's the heavy firepower? Oh shit, that's close to you. I yeah, take it you can hurt yourself, hurt yourself with your own grenades. Yeah. Go. He was playing dead. Just in place. Is he coming to follow you? Oh, okay. oh, how did they get past that? Oh, no, it, it went off after. And then, that didn't stop anybody. Oh, be careful. Yep. Nice, quick killed. Back it. Back it. Oh, come on. You're going down. You're going down. Nice, I've got your health. I'm gonna kill you all. I've got your health again. Wow. <laughs> There's one guard still going. God damn it. <laughs> it's like a saw trap just being activated. They made me do that. <laughs> they made me do that. I just got into Yeah, they they system. made you swing that sword and shoot that crossbow and just throw kill, those kill razor wire grenades. Just kill them all. <laughs> Alright, can I get up there? No, I can't. So I need to go round. Around here. Were these all chumps working? These don't look like the loyalist faction, though. These are just they're, well, they're the soldiers in um, payment of Havelock. Right. Okay. So they're just hired goons, basically just mercenaries. Hired goons, yeah. It's those tall boys that are just pain there. Can't you just get to Havelock? Do you have to? What's he firing at? I don't know. He's firing at his friend. <laughs> Okay, right, let's look. Right, we'll go get up to so Emily. There's Emily. Emily's up there. And. Can't make it over there. Oh, you can. Is there a way in on through the roof? Through an open window up here? Oh, tall boy. Carry on round, round this side. Right, tall boy over there. Will he see you up here? Possibly. Yeah, aim higher. Tall boy. So, em oh. oh, there's a doorway to your left. Uh, is she in my bedroom? Oh, I think they they are aware of your presence in here. Oh well, that that's oh, that's not Emily. That's or if it is, it's it's bad news because there were rats. Ah! Oh. Damn, parry dude. Block, stab. He's got a gun. Leave. There's two oh. of them. There's three of them. Oh. Oh. That. Oh, quick grenade was it? Oh, razor wire. Razor wire. Oh, did he go? Oh, shot twice. Yeah, yeah. Knew, knew that tall boy was gonna see me. I just knew it. Damn. See, that's why you can't really go in loud. Right. That, right. That, that's a perfect example of going in loud and trying to kill everybody, and the game just works around all of your attacks and puts you in situations. And just kind of bum rushes you with as many units as it can throw at you. Yeah. It's not as bad as that steam room, though. No, no. <laughs> oh, I could just kill you. Please, no. Yeah, yeah. You're she gonna... doesn't know anything. She doesn't know anything, apart from the fact that all those guys are over there. And she's got nothing useful. All right, okay. Got to really consider taking the tall boys out. But taking them out, or you mean destroy them? Yeah. Or are you gonna? Because they are. There's gonna be. A, they are just gonna be a constant nuisance. Okay. Unless, I mean, it's like having a wandering security camera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to look at my powers. We've got three rooms. Ooh. We could. Devouring bend. swarm. Devouring swarm, you're thinking devouring swarm. Summons a swarm of rats that will attack others, then disperse. Yes, yes. Yep. Yep. It's time to become uh, the master of the rats. Press left trigger to summon a vicious swarm of rats. Consume corpses or attack the nearest living thing. Sweet. Might be a good way of distracting people. You are now the rat king. Right, let's put that just there. Cool. That'll deal with a bunch of these there. guards if they spot you now. Depends on how much it, uh, mana it uses. Yeah. You need to refill it up. Okay, there's the tall boy just down there. 
these three guys are going to talk about something. And Emily is in the tower. No, she's in the bedroom. I don't think she's actually there. I think there's a note that okay. says... I've been captured. Right, it's so like it's just a dummy that's, uh, that's yeah. laying there. Havelock is there. Let's try and get to Havelock. Mm. Right, Mr. Tallboy. Right, the big blue... The, the, that's the thing. target. Yeah. And uh, they don't stand still for very long, do they? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's a perfect yeah. shot. Oh, nope. and again. Nice. He hit nope. you. Yeah, he hit me. Damn. I can't see. Yeah. That shot. I only just see that blue canister. Hold still. Damn. Just he's got those explosives. Still. He's got explosive barrels. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you are you are nearly dead. You guys are no fun. You're no fun at all. I haven't got that many. I've got one incendiary shot. It's gonna have to be a good shot. He hit him. I hit him, but I don't think I killed him. No. Let's pull these things out and see what they do. Send them out. Cannot summon I'm looking forward to seeing this. I cannot summon them there. Why? It, that's what it says. Oh, Can what? Cannot summon there we them? Go. No, nice. There we go. Nice. Oh, I wish we could see it, but... <laughs> oh, it didn't last for very long. No. So we're going to get one of these out instead. Three, two, one. Oh, oh come shit. on. <laughs> come on, game. <laughs> Guys, hold this. Ow. You threw a rock at me. You threw a rock at me. Oh, okay, okay, no. For your health, your health. Yep. Nice. Damn, there's Run. a lot of guards down here. Heal. You don't need the heart. The Mana. heart's only going to tell you to get them out of Mana. here. Oh. Jump away. Run, 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 run. <sighs> okay, now okay, get, get the swarm ready. Get some grenades ready. Reload your crossbow, tower. reload your gun. No grenades. Swarm. Go to the left. Right, we'll get rid of... We'll keep the blink, because I'm thinking of... What? What's the plan? I'm thinking of just getting up on the roof. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Go, go. Nice. Nice. Oh, don't fall off. a nice diversion as well. Don't fall off. Summoning the rats. Jump, jump. Huh, huh, huh. Right. Ah. Uh, no, can't take out that. No. Uh, Emily. It's a good idea. Emily. And. It's the note. It's the note. Ah, we. Well, <laughs> pick it up. <sighs> mm okay. Mm, I'd like to take um, it to Dumble Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange now. Samuel was whispering to Callista about flare. I hope you get her. back here before then. Okay, yep. Yep. The lighthouse. Go ahead to the lighthouse. Callista is over there in the tower. Okay, well we're just about ready to wrap up this episode. Huh. So I just want to say we will be back again next Thursday with a film review, next Friday with another video game. Uh, video and we'll be back next Saturday with the next part of Dishonored. Yep. In the meantime you can check us out on Facebook, on Twitter and on Patreon. Uh, all of the uh, links are in the description below. If you've got any questions or comments please also leave them below and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Ah oh, Calista, I need to sleep. You really need to take it easy Corvo. It's been a rough day. Murdered a lot of people today. <laughs> Changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died.